Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Akisha Smith. And I'm Lester Smith. And we teach you guys how to tap into your greatness by recognizing the power of your own mind and using it to create the things you desire in life. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about health and fitness. Mm -hmm. Now you may ask, why health and fitness? How does that help me tap into my greatness? Mm -hmm. Well, did you know? Fitness <laughs> can be used as a tool to help you reach your goals to goal set and achieve success. Mm -hmm. No? Well, we're about to break it down for you. This is Conversations That Lead to Greatness. All right, guys. So as we stated, fitness and health. Now, Lester been trying. He couldn't wait to get to this topic. Okay? So he's going to be rambling mm -hmm. a lot. I ain't going to do no rambling. All right. Fitness and greatness. Uh, and help. Mm -hmm. So, did did you know that that said you can use fitness as a tool to help you with setting your goals and achieve success? No, fitness, Be health, and fitness is, is uh, it equates to self discipline, yeah. consistency. What? Um, it's just a whole lot that goes uh, with that. And mm -hmm. that can go like the things you learn about in your fitness and health journey mm -hmm. can actually help you in other areas of your life. Yeah. So let's start about fitness. Mm -hmm. Um and I want to talk about it with the discipline of it. Okay. Because I feel like when it comes to your health and your fitness, mm -hmm. you have to be disciplined in all areas. Because mm -hmm. it's gonna be times when you don't want to eat the vegetables or the salad or you know what I'm saying it's going to be times when you don't want to go work out but being disciplined keeps you on track and keeps you focused mm -hmm. so yeah well I, I look at it like this look at it that that body you have mm. that's a million dollar instrument okay I okay? see where you're going and you going down there putting them one dollar uh, uh, <laughs> $1 sandwiches in there from McDonald's or whatnot. Technically, it ain't $1. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. I don't know. I don't go down there, so I don't know. Yeah. So, you have to take care of that, that, that instrument that mm -hmm. you need on a daily basis to go out and into the world and make this, this abundance amounts of money. To live this abundant life. Abundant, yes. You got to take care of that instrument. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And did you know, uh, when it comes to help, like, your help play a major role in... Mm -hmm what you do like how you think of yourself your image your like everything about you exactly. it plays a major role in it because it's yourself it's your body you live with your body every day mm -hmm. so if you're hurting and pain and aching and high blood pressure and all these things going on with your body and your health mm -hmm. you're not gonna go out and conquer the world you're gonna you know what i'm saying have to deal with this health issue mm -hmm. first and then go conquer the world with with whatever snitch you have left over mm -hmm. so yes it, it plays a big role yeah and even when it when we talk about fitness and men discipline it teaches you how to just show up be consistent yeah. like and be committed like when you go and start your fitness journey, just like starting your journey to greatness, mm. becoming better, yeah. you have to be disciplined to show up when you don't feel like it, exactly. to stay committed and stay consistent. And what I mean by that is every day you have to renew your mind. Mm. We always say renew your mind. It's just not a saying that's in the Bible. It's something you have to do every single day and every minute sometimes depends on your environment. Oh, yeah. So you renewing your mind, renewing your mind, you being consistent at that. But when you be consistent with your health and fitness, it's going to automatic. Oh, yeah. It's, gonna, it's like something that's going to automatically just line up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know I got to be disciplined in yeah. this area. I know for me to get to where I'm going, I got to be disciplined. I got to be consistent. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. That's the truth. I like that. You like know, that. you can see why I went with that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on around with it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, man. That, that's fitness. And, 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 and Let me tell you something. You know who I like that really takes care of their body? And people are just still wondering why he can still perform at this high level. And he's older. LeBron James. That man spent millions of dollars on his body. He, he get the best coaches, the best everything. And you know what I'm saying? He spent millions of dollars. And why does he do that? Because he knows his body is what's getting him the, the money. What's abundant. getting him the bread. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we have to do the same thing. I'm not saying we have to go out and spend millions of dollars. But we have to take care of ourselves. Make better choices. Make, make better, better choices decisions. in life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better decisions. And that's going to ultimately... Help us to keep because let me tell you something. When your body starts breaking down mm -hmm. as you get older, 
That's not something you want to do. I always kind of been into fitness. I always kind of been into fitness. And the reason being is because, I, for one, one, I like the way it makes my body look. Okay? Mm. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> for one, I like the way it makes my body look. For two, it's, it, it, you have to be disciplined in order to, to stick with the fitness. And if I'm disciplined in that area, I'll be disciplined in other areas of my life. In my life. You what? You know what I'm saying? And you have to be consistent. Yeah. Because your body's not going to look the way you want it to look unless you be consistent. Mm hmm You know, you have those people. Let me tell you something about the gym. The gym is, they rack up so much money, man. What? It's, it's ridiculous. Let me tell you why and how they rack up the money. They rack up the money because 75% of the people who have, who have a gym membership, they don't go. Mm. They don't go. So just imagine that. You have a business that you're running where 75% of the people don't even use it. But they let their money come out of their month. They, uh, they check it. I mean, they, um, account. they bank account every month. That's crazy. Just thinking about that. Residual. Yeah, yeah. That's their residual <laughs> income. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got to. You got to be disciplined. You got to be consistent when, dis when dealing with that gym. Yes. Mm -hmm. And another thing, um, health and fitness uh, compared to, you know, your level of greatness and tapping into, you mm -hmm. know, success and all yeah. that is it teaches you how to work with others. Mm. It, it's, it's like that's something you can take over to your other areas of your life mm. because you working with other people on a daily basis. Mm. Even if you work from home and on in the computer, whoever your kids come home, your, your spouse come home, you go to the grocery store, whatever, you in other, uh, someone's face at least one time a day. Mm -hmm. So you have to know how to work with um, well with others. And what it teaches you is how to communicate. Mm. Like we did an episode about communication, like how to communicate effectively. Yeah. You know, it's one thing. Commu communication is a, is a double side thing. Mm -hmm. It's not just one way. Yeah. It's like you communicate, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I'm not sitting here and trying to think of something that I'm going to say to you back. I'm actually actively listening to you communicate with me. So Seek, seek for us to understand, then to be understood. Yes, communication. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all it is. Yeah. Um, another thing it is, it gives, it's support. Mm -hmm. Like it, it teaches you how to support others and yeah. support yourself. So when we talk about fitness and health, it's like, <laughs> it's like when we go to the gym, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't be wanting to when I be tired mm -hmm. or I be in my last rep or whatever you're there to support me you communicate hey come on right you got this one more rep don't play yourself mm -hmm. let's get it in you know yeah. is that support oh, is oh, there oh, okay we there we ain't trying to <laughs> no, no, I, I said I it already but I, I said it already I want you to try to uh, skip that last that last exercise and go to another another exercise like no no come on back over here and get this and finish this up man you got to finish this up <laughs> and she be like no I'm gonna go over here and like no and she's like I already did all that I say well let me tell you something. It's a discrepancy here. You said you finished it already. I said you didn't. So do one more just for me. That's what I say. <laughs> let me know. Let me make sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Into who? Let me push you into your greatness. Push me to my greatness. Because exactly. he know what I want. He exactly. know my, you know. Exactly. But um, I want to speak from a, a, um, a personal level, personal mm -hmm. experience. Okay. You know, with me and fitness and this journey I've been on. <laughs> It's, it's been up. It's been a roller coaster. Yeah. Um, and I can say that now that I'm on a journey to becoming great and, you know, we know like learning this new information, it helped me with my fitness. Mm -hmm. It helped me to be disciplined. Yeah. Like I start working out six days a week now. Mm -hmm. When did I ever do that? I mean, back in my <laughs> days when I was, you know, yeah. but now I start working out because it's like, okay. I need to be disciplined. I know that I lack discipline in a certain area of my life. Mm -hmm. And in order for me to overcome that, I have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. I have to show up and I have to be committed. Mm -hmm. Like no matter what, I have to show up when I'm feeling down, sick or tired, whatever. Show up. Mm -hmm. And that's going to help you create discipline. Discipline is nothing but... Um, it's doing something you don't want to do and you're doing it over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Until it becomes a habit. Until, yeah, until yeah. it becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. So with me, when it came to the fitness journey, um, now it's like, it's come, it's second nature to me. Yeah. And it makes me feel like something about working out. 
it makes you feel like you can conquer the world. It, it, it makes you feel like like we go to the gym and when you think you'll be tired when we come home, it's like, okay, let's get to work. Let's start our day. Mm -hmm. it, energizes, it energizes you. And another thing I like about the gym is so many people at the gym. Mm -hmm. So many walks of life. You never know who is at your gym unless you talk to them. Exactly. Like, you never know who can be that helping hand yeah. when you need it in your business or your life or whatever you're trying and, to and do. I'm telling you, you got to be in the gym just talking. Just talking up a storm, but you can't say hi and hello to certain people, you know, whatnot, and, and let them know, you know, hey, uh, I mean, we're going to uh, continue this conversation later on, let me get back to work. Or, you know, yeah. you, uh, you can call me on the phone, you know, and, you know I don't want to disturb your work, I don't want you to disturb mine, you know, let's get, you know, get back to it or whatnot. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. people will come up there, let me tell you something, <laughs> the, the, the gym is, 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 uh, is a social club a lot of times. Mm -hmm. People go there just to talk. I don't have time to talk when I'm in the gym. Let's get this work. Baby say, baby say, this is what she tell me. You, you gonna put your headphones on today? Yeah, I'm gonna put my headphones on today. You don't wanna talk to me? No, I do not. Let's get to work. You put your headphones on, let me put my headphones on, let's get to work. Let's go to work. And then we're talking, we'll get in the car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, believe it or not, this is the shortest time I've ever been at the gym. Normally, when we go work out, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll play around. Yeah. Normally, it's it about and two, two and a half hours. We do weights for an hour, 30 minutes on the cardio, and we out. Now, yeah. what would you say as a recommended route? Like, say, for instance, what, would, what advice would you give a person that is just starting out on the fitness journey? You know, they know they need to work out. They don't know where to start, and they have health issues. What would you... I would suggest that... You know, my, my suggestions ain't going to be the same as suggestions that, that you know, these so-called, what do you call them? The, um, Gurus, the, fitness, the trainer, the fitness trainers and all that will give you. I would say, start on one thing first. Mm -hmm. Get consistent with that one thing, then move to something else. Like, I don't, me personally, if I was a fitness trainer, I wouldn't try to have nobody lose weight in the beginning. And the reason being is because when you get to doing all this cardio and stuff, you get to dropping weight too fast. And you haven't built up any muscle yet. So if you ever seen those people that be having all that hanging skin and all that, that's the reason why. Because they drop weight too fast. You know what I'm saying? So what I would say is keep on eating what you've been eating. You know what I'm saying? And just come to the gym and work out. We're going to lose weight slow. Mm -hmm. We're going to lose weight slow. We, might, we, we may only lose uh, half a pound a month or one pound a month. You know what I'm saying? We're going to lose weight slow. It's, it's going to be a two or three year journey until you get where you want to go. So I, would, I wouldn't say drop weight too fast because you're going to lose all your muscle. Because you haven't built any muscle up. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. And, and the thing is, a lot of times when it comes to fitness and health, we mm -hmm. want quick action. Exactly. We want things, quick, quick results. results. Quick results. See, and see, a lot of times, they be going to go on a vacation or something, they want to drop weight real fast. That's the worst thing you can do. That's the worst thing. Yeah, because you're going to have all the hanging skin and everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously. seriously. You're going to get it. You're going to, guys, you're going to gain it right back plus more. Exactly. exactly. Like, trust me, I know. Like, <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but another thing is like they want quick results, mm -hmm. and they f like you forget how long your body went through all the abuse that you did yeah. to get to this point. Mm -hmm. So just because you eat a salad today or go work out once a week, it's not gonna like just while our magic mm -hmm. and go back to you know how it was yeah. so you got to think about our, over all the things you did to your body over all the years and everything yeah. your body took a beating mm -hmm. so now you're trying to repair it so it's going to take an even longer time to repair it mm -hmm. but I can't stress this enough guys in order for you to tap into your greatness in order for you to live abundantly in order for you to be do and have the desires of your life of your heart you have to get your fitness and health in order because you can't do be this wonderful person sick mm -hmm. you can't be this wonderful person your body is breaking down exactly. how, how is that gonna work exactly. that, that, that ain't gonna work mm -hmm. it's like it's your body is a temple this is something that god uses to push his agenda forward push his purpose forward oh, yeah. and you have to take care of that temple mm -hmm. and you have to make a decision it's like how can god use you when you oh, can't even get up in the morning. Yeah, you always sleep, or you're, you know you know you're yeah. sick or yeah. you complain or your health oh i can't do this oh because exactly. it is and how God is going to put more on you? Mm -hmm. You know, he, I would say he would never give us more than we can bear. I put more on us. Yeah. So how how you expect God to give you this lavish, abundant life when you're not using your temple that he gave you? Yeah, the proper way. The mm -hmm. proper way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because let me tell you something. God didn't make us 
uh, to be sick. No. You know, that's not that's not what we we're here for. We're not supposed to be walking around, moping around, sick, you know, in a despondent mood and all that. That's not what we're here for. We're supposed to be these this 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 vibrant, live, you know, a person, you know what I'm saying, on a yeah. daily basis. And a lot of us are not like that. Ooh. You understand what I'm saying? Have you you met people that just always complain and, and, and sick all the time and this and that? You met those type of people, you know? If you're one of those type of people, you know, it, hey, it's time to change that up. Let's yeah. change that up, you know. Let's get in a different, let's get in a different uh, uh, mode and mood about life. Mm. Um, wanting to live longer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And not just taking on the generational health curses. Mm -hmm. Oh, because my grandparent had, my mama had it, my dad. What? No, they had it because of ignorance. Yeah. Ignorant means you is annoying. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what ignorance means. Annoying. Now that you know, do better. It's like, now that I know, okay, I know I came from a history of health problems, high blood pressure, sugar, mm -hmm. I mean diabetes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, overweight. I came from that. Not overweight, but I came from that, right? Yeah. And smokers and like everybody in my family smoked except me, basically. Yeah. Um, and I knew that and I was leading, I was going down that path. Mm -hmm. Okay. Didn't even know it. But it's like, once I seen and noticed this is what it was, it was up to me to make that decision mm -hmm. to change my life. Yeah. It was up to me. I remember when I was what, 20, 21, when the doctor told me I was borderline diabetic. Yep. I was like, wait, I what? I remember that. I was twenty one. That's when she jumped on that on that on that weight loss journey. Yes. That. Yeah. That's that was the first time. And I was yeah. like, wait, what? And knowing my mom, my dad, my grandparents, my aunt, like everybody have high blood pressure mm -hmm. in my family. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, Oh no, I can't I can't do this. Exactly. And it's all because of me not taking care of my body, me not watching what I put into my body. Mm -hmm. Okay? So yes. Yeah. Let me tell let me say this. I remember <laughs> I remember back when we first got together. Oh, yeah, I got to go back to. I got to go back. <sighs> My wife was uh, what were you? What you? I'm gonna let you say it. Where were, where were you? A number. Huh? A what, number. What's the number. A number. You know, you know, you know, a number. A well, number. She, let's say, let's say she was. You know, she, <laughs> she was. Don't ask nobody. No, I was just being honest. We want okay, to be honest okay. with the people. You know, we, we can help help people. You know, I was. This is what I was up there. Okay, she was up there. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna use it up there. But anyway, <laughs> so. Um, I would go to the gym, and I kept, you know, going to the gym. It's, it's something I always did. Go to the gym, and I, hey, babe, you know, I come home from work. What now? Hey, you want to go walking? No, nah, I don't want to walk. I kept, I kept doing. Hey, babe, you want to go walking? I'm, I'm The reason I'm telling this story is because you may be a person that that's good with your fitness, mm -hmm. but your your spouse or your significant other isn't. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to give you this story to help you bring them along with you. Okay, I like that. And I would always, hey babe, you know, you wanna go walk with me? No, nah, I'm gonna go walk. Hey babe, you wanna go walk with me? No, nah, I wanna go walk. But eventually she came she she went walking with me. And eventually she came to the gym with me. You know, and isn't that uh, around the time where her doctor told her that, you know, that she needed to lose some weight or, you know, she was gonna be on diabetic medication or, you know, uh, and she would never get out because they say most people that go on diabetic medication never come off. And because of that reason. So I got her to go to the gym with me. She started going to the gym with me, you know, start losing their weight. And this is, she was feeling good about herself and all that, you know. I'm like, okay, come on, babe, let's go, you know. Confidence. Hey, she built that confidence level up. Got down, I got all the way down to like 145 pounds. 46. I'm like, hey, babe, I don't, I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to get a little bit more weight on. She's like, why don't you let me get that small? I'm like, hey, you going to gym doing all that cardio. And see, she did it the wrong way. Yeah. She did. She was doing all that cardio and dropped all that weight. You know what I'm saying? Fast. Fast. And that was the wrong way to do it. That's why I say you don't want to drop weight too fast. You know, you want to kind of gradually drop that weight mm -hmm. and whatnot. And, and um, and we had the baby, and she went back up. Had the uh, Lauren, our first child, and she went back up in weight. And then, when after the baby was born, she went back down in weight. And then the second baby, was born. <laughs> <laughs> she went back up in weight. And now she, now right now she coming down from the, the the second the second child. But I said that to say this: even though your significant other, your spouse, may not want to be want to work out or whatnot, keep on. So hey, babe, I really would like you to go to the gym with me. Yeah. Hey, babe, you know, you know, we need to, you know, get our fitness and all, you know what I'm saying, and this and that. And if they're, if they want to be with you and, and, and have an understanding, they'll, they'll come around. They'll eventually come around. I'm not saying they're going to come around right away, because that's, you know, that's a commitment. 
That's a real commitment. A big commitment. Yeah, that's a big commitment. And they'll come around and get you. And I would say, don't nag. No, I don't nag. I, don't nag. Nag. I, I never nag, though. It was just presented the opportunity, nag. and yeah. you either take it or leave it. Exactly. But I'm a, you know what I'm saying? So don't yeah. nag. That's yeah. one thing you can do. A lot of times, people mistake that mm -hmm. as, you know, well, you need to just know, just present the opportunity. Mm -hmm. If they grab it, they do. If they don't, they don't. You continue to go on. Exactly. By them, like, just like we say, when you on this journey, you better on yourself. Don't worry about nobody else. Exactly. Better yourself, and they're gonna see your light shine, and they're gonna wonder what's going on. Yeah, hey, something different about you. Man. Something, exactly. Hey, show me what you're doing. I need to get on what you're doing. You know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, the last thing we're gonna talk about is um, health and fitness brings a value of resilience and perseverance. Mm -hmm. Um, because it teaches you how to press through setbacks, teaches mm -hmm. you how to press and, you know, keep going through hard time when you want to give up and failure. It teaches you that. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing you can take into other areas of your life because when you are disciplined, when you can work well with others, you understand that, man, I went through all of this. Mm -hmm. I got this. Why? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Exactly. You understand that. Mm -hmm. So it teaches you about resilience, how to bounce back. You know, so like it's crazy, but really health and fitness goes hand in hand when it's come to setting goals and achieving your success, mm -hmm. because these three things can help you achieve success. If you, or hurt you. Mm -hmm. yeah, it can help or you, yeah, what? Yeah. it can help or hurt you yeah. in setting, even setting goals mm -hmm. and achieving them because then. You can set goals one minute and then you never go and look look back at them. You can say I'm like, what's the new year? Mm -hmm. Because everybody else is doing it. You got a vision board. You set the goals. But you're not disciplined to go back and look at them and come up with a plan and, you know, reroute and do all these things. You're not disciplined and committed to achieving that goal. Mm -hmm. How are your goals going to be? How are you going to be successful in it? Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. That's what yeah. I'm to say. Yeah, man. Fitness, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's no way of getting around fitness when it comes to tapping into your greatness. Okay, well, you can, you can, you can just don't do it, dude, but you. <laughs> you can don't. You know, your body, let me tell you, your body is gonna break down. Of course. I'm 42 years old now. Who? Let me tell you something. I'll tell you. Hey, man, it's just the truth. It's just the truth. And I, I know 42 year old. I know people younger than me that can't walk. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of hard mm -hmm. to actually see them going through that, but. They just don't know. All they got to do is go work out. That's it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Work out it, and kind of eat a little better. I was going to say eat a little better. Yeah. Um, okay. Let, let me tell you Advice. something. Let me tell you something about it. Let me say it real, real quick. Let me say this. You say eat a little better. And you know, I just thought about something. I really believe, me personally, <laughs> I believe you can eat whatever you want to eat. Yeah. As long as you go work out. I, I believe that to the fullest. You know, that's just my opinion. I, I might not be right. I might be wrong. But I, I believe, I'm not saying you're going to eat a bucket of chicken every day, a bucket of fried chicken every day. I'm not saying that. Mm. But I feel as though if you're cool with where you are, you know what I'm saying, in your in your body type, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of like, you know, eat your hamburger and fries from time to time. I'm not saying eat that all day long. Okay, you out for the say you got to eat that. Yeah, I'm not saying eat that all day long. But, yeah. you know, your last meal at night, you know, have your hamburger and fries and whatnot. But go to the gym on a regular basis. Go to the gym five or six balance. days. Yeah, balance. Five or six days a week. You can have your cheat meal every day if you want to. Yeah, we If have. you're cool with the way your body looks. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you want abs and popping and all that, no, no, you can't, you, you can't do that. See, he, okay, yeah. so he's yeah. speaking from a person that's been... Kind of fit all my life. Yeah. And I'm going to speak to you a person that has been... Big most of her life, mm -hmm. all my life, okay. well, even for a child, because that can still hit me, even when I was a, ch a kid, yeah. like eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So I would say when it comes to the hardest thing you can do is working out mm -hmm. when you start this journey, because a lot of times you think like when you go to the gym, people laugh at you. You don't know what you're doing. Like if, if you feel insecure at the gym, mm -hmm. okay, you feel some type of way. You feel not, you don't feel comfortable, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I would say that is like the number one reason why people have a hard time going to the gym and staying consistent. Mm -hmm. They'll go when they first get their membership, but week two, week three, pain come, you sore, and you know what I'm saying, you're not actually motivated, you already don't feel comfortable, so you're going to kind of shy away from it, mm -hmm. so I would tell, I would tell to a person that's starting out, focus on what you eat, 
and what I mean by that is focus on what you're actually putting into your body. Mm. Um, one of the first things I did was stop eating after nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. That was the first small change I did, mm -hmm. and I seen results. Not soon, like quick, yeah. but over months I seen a difference mm -hmm. because then it, I'm teaching my body to shrink my stomach down. Mm -hmm. Because when you eat it like your stomach. It's just out of whack, yeah. you know? And when you go into eating, like, say, friends, you just go cold turkey and just want to eat salads and, you know, you, you, you send yourself up for failure. Exactly. You're not, you're, you're not going to sustain that. You're not going to You're not going to sustain that. Mm -hmm. So start with small changes. Another small change I did was start drinking more water. Mm -hmm. Like, I would drink maybe one bottle, maybe two bottles. Okay, maybe one bottle a day. Yeah. Then I will start making sure that I'm disciplined in drinking at least four bottles, or three to four bottles of water a day. Mm -hmm. Cut out soda mm -hmm. on during the weekdays. You know, start with small goals and accomplish those small goals with your eating habits. And then, as they add up, put them all together. And mm -hmm. before you know it, months, a year at a time, you didn't had, you know, you didn't did a whole 360 on your eating habits. Mm -hmm. And then you didn't lost weight, so then you feel comfortable now to start going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Or even if you're not the gym type, they have so much workout stuff at home and on YouTube you can do. You don't have to be in the gym or, you know, be working out for an hour, hour and a half like us. If you do 20 to 30 minutes of just walking around the house cleaning up or walking around your, you know, neighborhood or just little 10 minute workout on YouTube, yeah. that is better than nothing. Exactly. That is a start. Exactly. So, yeah, mm -hmm. start small. Exactly. Yeah. And then yeah. grow. That, that, makes, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, look here. She, hey, she telling you. Hey, they got plenty, plenty of home workout YouTube videos on, mm -hmm. on YouTube, man. Get on there and check them videos out. And also, they have plenty of YouTube videos to show you how to work out in the gym. To show yeah. you how, you know, because a lot of people feel like, oh, I'm not going to look right in the, in the gym, you know, doing this and doing that. But if you watch those videos, then you'll know what to do when you go to the gym. You won't need a personal trainer. But a personal trainer is a way to uh, help you, too. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to spend that money, get on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Learn something. And then go to the gym. Yeah. Let me, let me say this too. A lot of people, they go to the gym and they work out for the first time and they get real sore. Okay? Yeah. And the next couple of days, they won't go to the gym no more because they're so sore. And they feel like they're going to always feel like that. No, you're not going to always feel like that. As, as you keep going, your body's going to get used to lifting that weight and you're not going to be sore anymore. Yeah. You'll still be sore from time to time, but it'll you're not going to be, be like that. It'll first. never be like the first, you know, the first a week or two. Yeah, and the yeah. thing is, you're sore because then you stop moving. Your body got stiff. Yeah, exactly. But if you push through the pain, push do, through what you're feeling, mm -hmm. eventually your muscles are going to loosen up. It's yeah. going to start feeling better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, keep pushing. When you sore, just keep, keep, keep doing it. Keep going because back down it's now. worse mm -hmm. when you stop. Exactly. It's worse when you say... you got to start all over again. You stop. Start all over again. Stop. Yeah. Every time you stop and start all over again, you're going to be sore every time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, that is the connection between health and fitness mm -hmm. and tapping into your greatness. Mm -hmm. Taking these three things, which is discipline, um, working well with others, and the value of resilience and perseverance. Mm -hmm. Those are the three key, key things that fitness teaches you that you can also bring over to your other areas of your life to help you achieve success. Mm -hmm. Okay? And tap into your greatness. Exactly. All right, babe. Is that it? Let me, let me say one more thing before we go. Let me say one more thing. Real quick, real quick. So, uh, 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 how to make better eating choices. Mm -hmm. This is another thing, real quick. Um, you can still go to McDonald's, but when you go to McDonald's, get you two burgers. Get mm. you two burgers. No fries. No fries. No drink. Uh, get you some water for the drink. And when you get the two burgers, take the bread off the burgers and just eat the meat. The meat, the lettuce, and whatever whatever that's in there. Don't eat the bread. Okay, no bread, no fries. You can still have your, you know, your meat back. You know, it's just a little bit better eating choice. You look know what I'm saying? Look at the keto. Keto, you know, keto, you, you, he, he don't keto, know. Yeah. It got its ups and downs. Keto is what I did when I, it, it helps. It helps yeah. you understand carb intake. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of, like a lot of us that's, that's big bone, not big bone, that's on the heavier <laughs> side, we're carb, carb sensitive. Carb sensitive. Mm -hmm. And we don't know and understand what that means. Yeah. Like for me, I know I can't eat a lot of carbs because I will feel bloated, I will blow up, I will feel horrible. Mm -hmm. And my energy will go down. Yeah. So I have to watch my carb intake. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you look up, look 
look into keto because yeah. that means it's like low carb basically i would say do no carbs no you still need carbs for your body to sustain and go and you yeah. know all well, that you, stuff. you need carbs if you're happy you well, the carbs send you to your happy place Ooh, it does you got and you need carbs in your life and if you delete carbs all the way out of your life then you're not gonna be able to go to your happy place. You know carbs and coffee. Carbs will take you to your happy place. That's just what it is. And I ain't saying you need to be over eating cookies and chips and no, chips. no, I'm not that's saying junk. That. But they you know, know that. some rice, you know, some potatoes, you know, stuff like that. But don't just eat a little bit of it. Not a lot of it, a little bit of it. More meat, less carbs. Mm -hmm. That's how you lose weight. Period. And get active, guys. Yeah, get active. Get active. Mm -hmm. get, raise your heart rate up at least five times a week. Mm -hmm. Get active. Yeah. Clean the house. Yeah. You know, oh, oh, boy, you drink a, a cup of coffee. Like, I haven't. Oh, yeah, listen. Yeah, someone gotta have all the sugar in it and all the well, sugar free, and all that. Sugar free stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, before we close out, I have been on a coffee detox for two weeks. Mm -hmm. I have two weeks. Here you know, is that? Um, two weeks I without coffee. coffee, and this is my first cup. I, I hate coffee. I hate that she even drank coffee because I'm just like coffee. Okay, I'm out of point here. <laughs> my point is, no, what I'm trying to say is, Coffee craves appetite. It helps you crave your appetite. It helps. Well, 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 just drinking something, period, helps you crave your appetite. Can I speak up on the coffee? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, yes. Coffee craves your appetite. Okay, mm -hmm. guys? So if you're looking for a natural appetite suppressant, mm -hmm. coffee do it for me every time. The water does the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Close that's, out. That's, that's, why, that's why you say drink more water. Take her some water. If you drink more water, it speeds your metabolism up. Look into that. You think I'm lying? Look it up. If you drink more water, it squeezes your metabolism up, and it helps you burn calories. But anyway, God is good. Boom. Life is good. Now, let me hold on. Like and subscribe. Share this video, guys. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Jump in the comments. Put a bunch of comments down there. I'm saying, it's going to help us in the YouTube algorithm. Just jump in there and just jump, go crazy in the comments. <laughs> hey, guys. God is good. Yeah. Life is good. When we look good, we feel good. We live in a life of abundance. Peace.